Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, welcome, welcome. This is an episode of Let's Get Drunk with B Rad. Welcome, welcome to my garage. Ooh, yeah. How about that? I had to relocate to the garage because I have got a. Well, I. Gosh, damn, cameraman, what the hell is wrong with you? I think he's been drinking. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't get no privacy in my own uh, own apartment, so relocate to the garage. You know, maybe I'll turn it into main cave. I don't know. So let's start this off right. If you can drink, don't drive. If you can drive, don't drink. And something near dear to my heart, 22 better, veterans die daily, PTSD, suicide. So if you know someone, something from pre- from PTSD. This is PTSD Awareness Month, by the way. Let's bring awareness about PTSD. And uh, there's a lot of good websites. I'm sure you can learn learn about it. And I really should uh, give those. And you know, maybe I'll look them up and then give them in the, the description below. Um, if you happen to know someone, uh, they might not even be diagnosed with PTSD, but maybe you hadn't heard from them for a while. They're kind of a lone, lone person. You know, call them up, say hi, take them out to lunch, have a drink with them. Have some coffee, tea, whatever, you know, a drink. It doesn't matter. Just acknowledging that person could save their life. All right. I've been itching to do a beer review for a while, and I just uh, decided I'm going to relocate out to the garage. Nothing wrong with that, you know. So, um, I sent off, I sent, I'm sorry, I sent off for some beer. Uh, this beer, you can, uh, it's not sold locally here in, Wichita, Kansas. It is. And I, I solely bought this for the name. I don't know if you can read that or not. Everything's hard to read on here, but it says, Cheers, motherfucker. Fuckers. All right, so that alone, I love the F word. Kids don't be saying that. And, okay, they got a little thing. This is really hard to read. Uh, National movement started by by beer beer thug life, a Mexican American craft uh, beer lover creating unity through chugs. That's right up my alley. So tag us, show show us your chug. Cheers, motherfuckers, and. Say it out loud. Keep cold. Okay. Brewed and canned by local craft. Uh, T- Tia Champ, California. All right. Now the the thug. Beer, beer thugs. I looked them up. The only information I could find out is, believe it or not, it's some Aussie blokes. I don't know if uh, one of my favorite YouTubers I watch is a guy called Ozman, Ozman Reviews, and uh, maybe the Ozman, you know, maybe he knows about this Cheers motherfucker. I don't know, but this is a hazy IP, a collaboration between, you know, Beer Thug Life and LCB. Um, it is... 6.5% alcohol by volume. The IBUs are 15. It's ale. So, hazy IPA. Um, you would never think by uh, beer thugs that it would be, um, you know, some Australian guys, but, uh, you know, I don't know. That's what I read. That's what, what the little story I get for you. Um, a lot of these crap beers, I like to share that story with you guys, but I don't really have a sh- uh, story to share with you. The only thing I can share with you is, of course, I'll be driving that truck down the road, hopefully getting you to a destination of your liking. And this is a hazy I- IPA. So let's get started with this beer review. All right, I have, you know, I probably should have washed this. Um, you know, Father's Day. Beer King. Uh, so I'll drink out of that glass. I, I need to get me some actual beer glass so I can get the full effect of the smell and everything and stuff because I do know that that does change everything. So let's get on with this beer review. 
let's first of all, you know how I like to critique the can and the artwork and stuff. This horrible, horrible. Cheers, motherfucker. Love the name. It's just everything's so hard to read on it. I mean, you're putting light metallic colors on light metallic. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Very little to no creativity for that. I give them a zero on their, their labeling. I barely, if it wasn't for the website singing cheers, motherfucker, I wouldn't have known what it said. If I was in a liquor store and this was displayed, I'd be like, I'd walk right past it. Unless I read, read what it said. All right, so we're gonna get a chug. You better believe we'll get a chug out of this. Let's let's see how she pours. Oh, it is hazy, hazy as shit. All right, since this is a sixteen ounce can, and I've got a, uh, I don't know, man. It's an IPA. It's got a nice. Uh, I, you know, IPA's got that, but it holds up to the name, Hazy IPA. Let's, uh, I don't know, man. It's got a nice looking color to me. I'm going to give it a 3.8 on color, and I'm doing this. I don't know if I should do it 1 to 100. Oops. Uh, 1 to 100, or do with the beer review, or beer advocate, and untap dude, and they do like a 1 to 5. I'm going to stick with the 1 to 5 rating system. So, I'm going to give the color a 3.5. Okay. Getting a lot of the hop, of course, IPA. But, I'm getting a lot of orange, an orange smell, believe it or not. Um, maybe some grapefruit, lemon, something a little less sweet with that. Maybe a little bit of malt. It's got, it's got a, maybe, maybe a, what do you call it? I, I know, notice they've been using a lot of, like, passion fruit in beers and stuff. And which, you know, whatever fruit tastes good, I mean, in there. So, all right. I'm going to give the smell, I'm going to give the smell of the 3.9. Smells really good. I mean, I can't wait to sip it. For, for an IPA, it's got a really, um, it's got a real smooth taste. Uh, you can you can taste the right out of the gate. You can taste the fruit notes. Of course, you know uh, on the back end is where the hop kick in. You know for all the hop heads. Now, if you're looking for a really hoppy IPA, this isn't it. Um, this this has a good, like clean, fresh flavor to it but still stands up to be an IPA because you can still have that flavor of the hop in it. So um, their co-collaboration, I, th I think, was good. Uh, they have a good name. Cheers, motherfucker. Well, why wouldn't you be? Samuel Samuel, uh, Samuel Jackson, man. You know, he'd be, fuck this, fuck that, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, by the way, Shaft is a funny-ass movie. Um, I, 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 I laugh my ass off, even though it's really not a comedy, but I, I laugh. Every time. So let's. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. There's only a little bit left in there. Let's say you're in. Let's just say you're in Australia. Uh, you're sitting down at the bar. You know you're having yourself a a pint with your mates, and there's this marine guy. You know he's. He's, you know, he's got an eye patch, you know. Arr, yeah, my name's Casey Patch. Arr, 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 arr. I bet I can out drink you. So you've been Casey Patch. All right, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to do all the work for you. I, I uh, This is something I came up with. and I, Apparently, I guess there really is some type of chug ability. But I came up with the chug ability solely for the little story that I tell you now. You get Casey Patch inside a bar. And you don't know if you can win that bet, so I'm doing the work for you, okay? Um, you get Casey Patch. I'm doing the work for you and let you know whether or not he's going to buy you a beer or you're going to be buying him a beer. And I'm not you and you're not me, so it'll... But you'll have a good, under, you have a good idea, you know? So, 
Um, let's uh, let's hold true to this uh, beer thug life and uh, cheers, motherfucker. All right, that's how you chug a beer, Marine Corps style. In, in case some of you Australians need to know that. Great beer, it goes down nice and smooth, man. It has a nice fruit uh, kind of citrusy, very subtle, a very subtle hop. It's a great beer. Um, it's uh, it's refreshing and stuff. It's uh, it's, it's, it's not something I would have as a go-to beer, but um, to have a few of them, yeah, sure, man. And at 6.5% alcohol by volume, you get a buzz pretty fast. All right. Let's get on with, uh, I like to uh, pay tribute to the ones who uh, sacrificed it all for this great country. I love fucking America, and I hope you love America too. And being a veteran, I appreciate those who sacrificed their life before me and the ones that will do it after me and stuff, which is sadly enough that, that we I have to say that. So, And, of course, and I got me a brand new bottle of America. So, all right. Cheers. And always chesty pull wherever you are. And it pairs real nicely with bourbon. It is hot in this garage. I was going to do another beer review. I don't know. All right. Thank you guys very much. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, always thank you, Brad Lance. Uh, Corey Log, David Aslan. Maybe you guys are watching. Uh, Ricardo Castro, uh, Dave Finch. Not Dave Finch, Greg Finch. I'm sorry. I apologize. And, of course, some of my Marine Corps brothers that I live with here in Wichita, Kansas. Casey Patch, Chris Anderson, and Chris Schmidt. I miss you, motherfuckers. We need to have a beer sometime. Tell stories. And, of course... If you're watching aeroplanes, I'm calling you out. JRB or Lance or Troy. Come on, let's get together. You can come into my garage. We'll have the beer review. And then maybe we'll do some... Uh, I'd like to talk tech about beer. So let's get together and just talk tech. Toast to the fallen. Have a beer. Have a good time. Beer brings people together. And remember, the best beer is free beer and your beer. And the beer that you like to enjoy at the end of the day. Woo! Cheers, motherfucker. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Every one of you, my 35 followers. Some of the people I do remember that follow me. Dickie's Beer Review. Uh, the, the, I don't know, gentleman or lady from Canada that's following me. The one from Latvia. Urgh. Love that shit that you're so fucking far away fucking enjoying my beer review. That is fucking awesome, man. I love it. Urgh, special cheers to you. And, uh, hey, let me, whoever is my first Ireland, I would love for you guys to make a comment. Um, I've been wanting to do a, man, I've been wanting to go to Ireland for a long time. So even before I found out, I was like 19% Irish. So, all right. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, motherfucking raw. Simplify, motherfuckers.